you plan on voting, you do not need to register ahead of time in North Dakota, but you do need to bring an ID. There are rules you may not know about too, mm -hmm. like what you can wear to the polls. Valley News Team's Harrison Prey explains. Early voting locations have attracted thousands from Cass County. Early voting, yes. The turnout has been absolutely fantastic. At this location, we had about a 45 minute wait pretty much right after the doors opened, as soon as the polling started at 11 o'clock. And our line didn't go down until about 6.30 last night, half an hour before the polls closed. It may seem appropriate to head to the polls wearing something to show support for the candidate of your choice, especially for first time voters. Voters were ecstatic to be here. Most of them were young, some of them were not. We had hips and hurrahs and hands waved in the air for our first time voters when they were. We tried to recognize them because it's important that they're here. But it's actually against North Dakota law. We had only a couple of incidents that I was aware of, but people were genuinely, you know, kind and compliant and either turning their shirts inside out or taking their hats off. In North Dakota, wearing a shirt, hat, or pin promoting a political candidate at a polling place could result in a Class A misdemeanor. The law applies within 100 feet of a polling place when it is open for voting. But one message to voters that seems to resonate with all this election season. Come vote. It's, it's great fun. You might have to stand in line for a while, but you definitely want to make sure that your voice is heard. In Fargo, Harrison Prey, Valley News Live.